All right, guys, we see inquiries all the time about how to disconnect connectors, and it kills me because a lot of guys will go say, well, just cut them and solder them back together or whatnot. Uh, it's going to be so much easier if you disconnect the terminals and they come apart with, with simplistic tools. Most of you guys have these tools in your toolbox. Uh, you can use a paper clip. Uh, we use safety pins. Nothing really extravagant here to take these connectors apart. You guys are probably familiar with these guys right here, the Deutsch connectors. Uh, these guys were used uh, from, I think, 1996 all the way up to about, 19, uh, what, 2006. Uh, to get these guys here apart, a couple ways of doing it. Essentially, we're just going to pop this connector loose, get something to pry in between. Once this connector comes apart, there's some small tabs inside that we need to pull back out of the way. So if we get a hold of our wire, whatever wire we'd like to remove, we're then going to simply pull the little locking tab down and then just pull the wire out. The wire will slip out and it goes back in the same way. Once it's locked into place, put your secondary lock back in, it'll pop on. Make sure you put the seal back on. Don't want any water intrusion. It's pretty easily done. Same basic principle here on the female side. Catch to it is sometimes getting the little green uh, secondary lock out can be tricky. You can use a, uh, a pick with a small hook on it. You can take something as simple as a piece of wire with a small hook made into it. Essentially, just get a hold of it, stick inside. It's gonna fight me now because I'm trying to do it on video, <laughs> as it would, as it normally works out. Oop! Our little locking tab. Same basic principle. Uh, just reach in with the small flat screwdriver or whatnot. Pull the little locking tab down. Pull the wire out. Goes back in the same identical way. Sometimes to put these little guys back in, uh, if you get a small flat screwdriver to hold it in place, a pair of pliers, stick it in the hole, line it up, pop it back into place. Uh, another one is uh, on your turn signals, uh, the 13 and earlier fuel pump connector. We call this an amp style connector. In order to get it apart, I don't know if you can see this, there's these itty bitty little ears. I can do it by hand here. I don't know if you can see this lock or not. A little secondary lock to keep the wire in place. How we'll remove these is simply with a safety pin. Same deal, if we go in above it, pull out on the lock, it slides right out. Goes back in, same way it came out. So it's locked back into place. Always make sure you put your secondary lock into place. Probably the uh, the most common one that we see people struggling with are the newer style Molex connectors. These are extremely simple. I don't know why it gives everybody so much trouble. Uh, a lot of guys want to take this plastic piece out. Do not remove this. It's actually not designed to be removed. It'll It's a secondary lock. It just pops up maybe an eighth of an inch. So same deal, you got a couple choices of things to get in there and get a hold of it with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a small flat screwdriver, reach underneath, and essentially that's as far as it goes. Then if you look, there's a very small hole. Stick a paper clip. Uh, we actually have a little Molex tool here, but basically it's, it's the same principle as a paper clip. You actually just stick it down in the hole and as you push down, Pull on the wire and the wire pulls out. Same deal, going back in. Uh, catch going back in, make sure you hold the wire and continue to push it straight in. If it gets in a little ways, you can turn this now and it will not continue to insert into the lock. So make sure you keep it straight all the way in, latches into place, reinstall your secondary lock. Same principle here on the other side. Uh, you can use a small hook. Uh, I like using a small pair of needle nose pliers. Reach in through the two small holes, 
grabbing a hold of it, pops up that little eighth of an inch. We'll then take our tool, it also goes in that small hole. Same principle, you just push down to, reduce, to release the uh, latch, pull the wire out. Most common wiring mistake we see people make is putting the wrong wire in the wrong hole. If you look on the back of these, they are numbered. It's extremely hard to see, but over in the corner, you'll see some numbering. So basically it's gonna go like, this one will be one through three and then four through six. The connector on the opposite side is numbered exactly opposite. So if we plug these together, basically this being number three over here, this corner is gonna be number three. So they match up to one another. Uh, other than that, that that's, that's pretty much it on these electrical connectors. These are going to be the most common ones that you're going to see on your Harley.